Well, I haven't been down here for a while. This is where we filmed the episode we want, or the, the show we want to believe. The episode was The Haunted Village, Part 1. You'll recognize this shot from the show. Only we filmed that at night here. And as I walk down this way, isn't that a beautiful sight? Look at that beautiful river. I got my gold pan with me. I'm going to try and go throw a pan. My health's been bad for the last couple of weeks. But I feel good enough now I think I could get out and do a pan, at least one. We'll give it a try. The geese are back. Look, our friends from the coast. Yeah. Our friends from the coast. From Canada geese. So somebody's put flowers on one of the kids' graves. I usually put flowers on them. I don't have them with me today. Oh, you guys are fine. I'm going to talk to George. It's been a while. George! Mr. George Novak. Hello, George. I say hi to you every time I come by. Yep. I'm walk down and get some gold, I think. If my strength holds up, I'm going that way. This is when we get down there. Yeah, the Canada geese. Two mating pair. That's good to see. All right. Let's go. Well, they worked on this and changed it. Easy access now. You got good footwear. I'm still wearing the Merrill shoes that the Kahapi vlog gave to me. Good little hikers. Yeah. This was never like this. You can see that from my past videos. This is never like this. It took out some of my berry bushes. It's okay, there's lots more down here. This is much easier. That just means more people will be coming. Ah, I don't like that too much. <clears throat> I used to have a little bench here. A little fire can beside it. So when I come down in the winter I can stay warm. Well there's my fire can. Somebody's, somebody's redone the area. Yeah. It was down there where I broke my shoulder in 2019. This is nice. Oh look, a butterfly. Where are you at? Which rock you on? Oh, he moved. There's a butterfly. I hope I caught him. Springs early. You gotta love that. A little bit of scat down here. There's coyote down here. Raccoon. Hit the odd rattlesnake. Mostly hardly never though. Yeah, you used to have to go all around this way. Wow. So we stop at the sunny spot. I look for bear prints because there is a bear down here right now. Don't bug me. 
This is nice. Twenty nineteen, same year I broke my shoulder. Was down along here panning with an Olympian. Well, this is much easier. Take your trash home, people. Good fishing down here. Don't know why they made this so difficult. See, the way they get these big rocks in here like this is they roll them down from up there. Because you can't get a machine in through here. Okay, I'm at the boulder beds. It's a little precarious, but I'm sober. Sober is good right now. Huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, could be dog, but it looks like bear, maybe. Bloody bang your shin on some of these. Should have done that better. All right. How about the boulder beds? Uh, while I cross this, I'm turning the camera off. Okay, I'm across the boulder bed. <coughs> now I'm going this way. <coughs> my favorite spot down here. Like I said, I'm going down here to my favorite spot. Look at him. He hasn't come down yet. When that one comes down, it's going to make a big crash. We're going this way. <coughs> wow, stuff has changed a whole lot down here. There's a little stream here. Trickle, trickle, trickle. It used to come down over here, down this way. This, this flat rock here. Which is one of my staging rocks where I used to put my stuff when panning. It used to be up there. All this stuff has moved. That's moved. It used to be over there. Well, that last flood did some change here. I've panned under the big rock there. And that's the rock there. I usually, I dig a lot under. And so... Yeah, a lot has changed here. Wow. This is, uh, well, it was my favorite spot to come to. But with all this change, I'll have to see if it still is. I'll have to work a few pans down over this way and see what I get before I make my decision. Or I'll work some down in here. Probably right there. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get this jacket and sweater off 
I'm overheating. And then uh, I'll work a pan or two and show you what I get, okay? Um, this is my favorite spot for panning and trout fishing. Just renewed my fishing license today. Well, as you can see, there's what's left of the Chinese wall that the Chinese workers built for the railroad back in the late 1800s, 1880s, late 1880s, early 1890s, for the railroads first pushing through here. That's what's left of it. It used to go all the way along. Now, Oh look, there's kitty prints. The cats come down here from the trailer park to stop to, to hunt. I have a full pan here. Well, as full as it's going to get because I got to walk all that way to be able to work that pan. As I teach in my school, when digging a hole, leave your shovel in it. If you leave your shovel in the hole, nobody's going to trip in the hole and hurt themselves. Good idea. Let's go work a pan. Okay, first pan is done. And there is a little bit of gold in there. A little bit of gold in the first pan. This is my... My second time out panning this year. Then I get gold in my first pan. I'm right there. That's where I got it from. Two of these small shovels full. Maybe half a pan. And I got six, seven flakes of gold. It's beautiful warm down here. I'm all by myself. The birds are singing. The trains are running. The river's flowing, and I'm having a fun time. Still a bit shaky after my operation two days ago, but I'm getting gold. I'm happy. Well, this is pen number two, and I'm just a footstep over from where I was. As you can see the formation there. So I'm going to go work this and see what it gets. Well, that's gnarly, man. So, pan number two. I don't know if you can see that in there because of the glare of the sun. The shadow out of the way. There's a lot more gold in the second pan than there was in the first one. I know I'm still shaking pretty good too. The glare of the sun does it no justice. But there is some good gold in there. Look at that. So that's the second pan. First pan, I got those five small teeny weeny, you know, pepper dust stuff. And second pan, I got a lot nicer flake, bigger ones. So it just goes to show you, if you take one step forward, it can probably do better. And this is where these rocks come together and flows through there. Comes right into here. Stops. Right there. That's your best bit of digging. Under that one there, I might try that spot right there to the side of it and into this side of it here. But down in here, there's a deep hole there. Which means fast water flows through there and just washes it right through. These are the spots you want to get into. Find your flake. Okay. Because all this stuff is just going to stop it. It's just going to stop it and wash it down. And as you see, there's a lot of sand in some of these spots. 
That's where fast water flows. You won't find much until you dig deep. You want these gravelly spots. Gravelly spots. Okay. There's a nice little hole right in that one over there I want to try. And so far, right here, I did well. Two pans. I got about 20 flakes. So, 5 in the first, 18 in the, or the 15 in the second. I'm happy with that. And it's a beautiful warm sunny day. It's probably 17 degrees. Nobody around. Only the noise of the trains. And the singing birds. And the song of the river. That's what I love. Yeah, I come down here to do my clean up. So, I pick this up gently. As you can see, well, I'm going to get the right angle here. So if you can see this in the shaded area, yeah, three pans. Well, maybe three pans. I only used the Garrett three-quarter pan. So, you know, that's uh, three pans. Hardly worked. There you go. Just off the first three inches of ground. I didn't even dig down. Well, I'm gonna replenish my energy and uh, then I guess it's time to go to work. See y'all soon. John Fair's gold panning school is now open. Sorry for being so shaky. I'm a little tired. Anyhow. My school is now open. You could even get gold. Just come on out with John Fair's Gold Panning School.